Hiking for me is for some like going to the pub, watching football on a Saturday afternoon, knitting, perhaps not knitting, but it's the sheer love of the outdoors, the adventure and the discovery. So just to tell you exactly where I am, I earlier passed Derwent Water uh, through to the Borrowdale Valley, then head up to Honster Pass, and I'm perhaps at the Slate Mine there. If you carry on Honister Pass, it eventually takes you down to Buttermere. I've always been a keen sportsman from a very early age. I used to play football, rugby. Later on in life that evolved into mountain biking, a great passion of my life back then, what around 10 years ago. I used to travel all over the place, including the French Alps. I then discovered landscape photography. And then, what about three years ago, I wanted to reignite my passion of being active, keeping fit. So I started up hiking. So now I combine hiking with landscape photography and I absolutely love it. So I love the Lake District, you probably guessed that by now if you follow my channel. And the Lake District is full of various types of hills, various uh, altitudes, technicalities, some very easy accessible small fells around what 400 500 meters including castle crag helm crag uh, lingmore fell and also there's the bigger mountains such as what great gable obviously your scaffold range bow fell crinkle crags today i'm climbing a fell which lies in the the, the middle range it's around 600 odd meters, 6 to 700 meters. And that fell is called Fleet with Pike. So you join me today on a rather drizzly, overcast day, exactly what I like. Hoping to get some nice and moody black and white. Now you've probably seen Fleet with Pike in lots of images if you're aware of the Buttermere Lone Tree. Fleet with Pike is the prominent fell in the background. So I'm climbing behind that and I'm hoping, hoping to get some views looking down onto Buttermere and then Crummock in the background. Let's just hope the clouds are in my favour. So I've got a battle at the moment with making sure you can hear me behind the sheep farmer. Wow, oh, that is some language. What is he talking about? The dogs clearly understand it though. The other battle I've got is the spitty, spatty rain. I'm having to wipe the lens quite often. So I'm still battling with this rain. It really is a hindrance at the moment. It's quite annoying for the lens. But I am near the top of Fleetwood Pike, I believe, because I've never been here before. And, and it has flattened out. Uh, visibility is pretty poor, I reckon down to about 100 metres. And it's funny how the conditions just put a different light on the scene. But as landscape photographers, as you know, we've got to adapt. I still haven't seen what I'm looking for, and that's views of Buttermere and Crummock. I do believe I'm in some low lying cloud at the moment, but uh, fingers crossed, I will get some views. I'd just like to add that I went wrong back there. I took a wrong turn 
And if it wasn't for my phone app, GPS, I'd probably be stuck. Um, I, have, I do bring a map, just wipe the lens again. I do bring a map and a compass. Uh, I do have basic map reading skills, uh, but without GPS, it'd be a different story would have thought. It's never failed me as well. It's basically an app called View Ranger on my iPhone. Never failed me whatsoever. Um, and that's what I highly recommend you to get, especially if you come fell walking wherever you may be, because the weather can just close in like that. Anyway, I'm gonna venture on. So I made it, made it to the top of Fleetwith Pike. And I tell you what, the views are absolutely atrocious. I'm currently in the middle of a low-lying cloud. It's windy as well. Spitchy, spatty rain still hasn't gone away. The camera's off the tripod. So plan B. What's plan B? So plan B at the moment is drinking coffee and eating jelly babies, which isn't that bad really after all. As you can see behind me, I'm in the middle of some low-lying clouds. Uh, so visibility is not really improved. I've just ventured down from the top of Fleetwith Pike. Um, I just need to be aware of wiping the camera lens as well. So options available to me at this moment in time are looking to my left are haystacks and every now and then they do appear clothed in some low-lying clouds and mist. So I might just have to capture them with my telephoto handheld. To my right is a nice clump of heather looking onto the view of Buttermere and Crummock in the background. I don't know, I'm just going to sit here, just wait, something might happen. So I've got my coffee, I've got my jelly babies, and I'm still happy. I've actually ventured down from the top of Fleetwood Pike and like a drowned rat. Unbelievable. Now I'm possible to vlog, never mind photograph. I did manage some shots though. I'm going to try and remember them because there's no way I'm going to vlog them uh, whilst, whilst shooting because the, the conditions, the weather just horrendous rain. It's still coming down now. Every now and then you might see a splatter of rain on the lens. Um, I tried to get a shot of the uh, haystacks with the telephoto but the rain was actually facing me coming towards the lens so it's just it just wasn't gonna happen I did manage to get um, a shot of the heather wide angle lens fairly close as well to the, to the heather so f16 fire off loads of shots um, I did bracket some as well because every now and then there's a clearance in the background which showed buttermere so I, I really don't know how it's going to turn out. On the way back, nice meandering path with a couple of prominent peaks uh, in the upper half of the shot as well. Again, it was just quick fire stuff. I managed to set it up on the tripod, wide angle lens. And finally, I think I've got the shot of the day. Wide angle, facing the rain again wonderful little tan it's just one of those days it really is 
um, but I still managed to come away with something. They do say that the worst weather often leads to the best photographer, which is often true. But to be honest, it hasn't really stopped. I thought, I thought that the clouds were going to break for the view I intended to get today. Um, just for a moment, um, the views open up of Buttermere and Crummock Water. But then by the time I got set up, it just cloudy back over again. Waterproof pants on, sun hat on, of course, why not? Drenched. So I'm going to head back to my car. Good little session. I'm determined that. I tell you, I am determined to go away with something, no matter what. Um, I do risk damaging my equipment, but Canon 5D Mark III is weatherproof. This Canon G7X Mark II isn't, though. Um, but hopefully, it's still working. I'm still talking to you. So, take care of yourself. Um, remember, I'm on Instagram, I'm the James underscore R underscore Burns. And don't forget to look at my website as well, jamesrburnsphoto.com. Right, so I'm going to head back to my car and try and get dry. Take care of yourself. Keep smiling. Bye bye for now.